Ayan na! Ayan na mga kameta, mga kamaharli ka, mga ka-unity. Ayan. Mga ka-sovereign wealth fund. Kamusta kayo dyan? Sensya na kapon, di tayo nakabol sa meta. May marami tayong mga alaga. <laughs> Ala, wala, inuna yung mga alaga natin. Kaya pasensya na, wala na oras. Eh. Today, sabi ko nakabol tayo. Let's talk about this mga kameta kasi marami nag-react dyan dun sa interview natin sa TV5 na sinabi ko yung isang dahilan na medyo negative, well, more than medyo, yung negative, ito naman mga Pilipino style na understatement, medyo super negative yung response dun sa Maharlika Sovereign Wealth Fund is because of yung issue ng trust deficit. And of course, alam natin yung konteksto ng sinasabi natin na trust deficit, di ba? Uh, at alam din ng mga trolls natin, anong ibig sabihin pag sinabi natin may trust deficit pagdating sa good governance and all, di ba? Unless you're living in some alternative universe or nasa kabilang ano ka, uh, yun na, kabilang universe ka, or you're living in a cave, hindi mo gets yung context ng sinasabi natin. But clearly, the fact na maraming trolls ang nag-respond at mukhang marami naman nagagalit sa atin, I was very diplomatic, I was very polite, ah, wala akong sinabi. Sinabi ko lang, may trust issue kaya siguro ganun na response. And when I say trust issue, trust issue pagdating dun sa hand, handling and management of a sovereign wealth fund at yung assurances na hindi mangyari sa atin, yung nangyari sa Malaysia 1MDB. Eh, for a long time, mas corrupt talaga ang Pilipinas kaysa Malaysia. Eh, tapos nangyari pa sa Malaysia yan. So anong guarantee na hindi mangyari sa Pilipinas? So when I say trust issue, I'm also talking about yung yung uh, yung pagkakulang no ng ng kumpiyansa ng ating mga kababayan 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 dito pagdating sa issue ng good governance again see I'm so polite I didn't even use that word I said good governance oh see how nice and polite I am to mga kameta eh tuloy yung nagrespond yung iba tapos nakita ko nga medyo uh, minumura uh, pa lang iba tapos binabastos pa na walang mga walang niya talaga ah uh, <laughs> Tas ito, ito yung response nila, ito yung spin, no? Ito yung spin ng mga alam niyo na, mga bloggers, mga very credible people. Ito po yung spin nila. Ang spin nila is eh anong trust issue eh ang taas ng ano eh, taas na approval ratings ni President and Vice President dito sa latest Okta, Super Okta Research. Yan talagang Okta the best yan. Very very ano yan, detailed yan. So Doon sa Okta Research, uh, majority po ng ating mga kababayan ay nag-express ng support sa administration ngayon. So, ito po yung mga numbers, to be very quick. Bakit yung kulay ng Okta para sa atin, parang meta? So, ito, pagdating sa trust, 86%. Ay, talagang saktong the same, no? Talagang exactly the same, no? Yung approval ratings kay Bongo Marcos at saka kay Sara. Although, interestingly, Si Marcos, uh, for them, Marcos Jr., ay medyo mas konti yung approval rating niya sa Mindanao, 92% versus effectively 100% approval rating kay Sara Duterte sa Mindanao. No? Uh, pero mas mataas sa Balance Luzon, si Bongo Marcos kay Sara Duterte, and virtually statistically tied lahat. No? So almost exactly the same yung approval ratings ng dalawa. Ito yung interesting guys, uh, Sara Duterte has higher approval or trust rating sa mga ABC, so ito yung mga medyo upper middle class, middle class at saka mga yaman, kaysa kay Marcos. And this is an interesting thing. Bakit mas mataas sa approval ng ABC kay Sara kaysa kay Bongo Marcos? But virtually tied na yung iba. Yun lang, yun lang very interesting sa akin. But because ABC is such a small, 10-15% maximum na ating population, that 7% gap is not much reflected dun sa overall numbers. Kaya... Virtually the same. No? Actually, virt- talagang identical 86% approval ng dalawang top officials natin ngayon. So, ito po yung mga numbers na kita natin. So, ang baba ng distrust levels, ganun-ganun, at mga undecided. So, 4% lang yung distrust uh, sa dalawang ad- uh, top administration official na yan. So, this is interesting because 15 million ang bumoto kay Lenny lang. At yung... So, more than 40% ng electorate ay hindi bumoto kay Marcos Jr. Diba? 58% na nakuha niya. So what? So that's 42% na hindi bumoto sa kanya. Pero mukhang 4% lang may distrust sa kanya ah, base dito sa report na yan. So that means, again, ah, based on this report, na yung mga supporters ni Lenny ay may trust na ngayon bigla kay Marcos or something like that. Diba? I mean, yan ang labas dito sa report na yan. Ako naman, 
I see it in a different light because timing is very important. No? Um, unang-una, yung idea ng high approval ratings, nangyari din kay Aquino yan, nangyari din kay Corazon Aquino, kay Pinoy, kay Ramos, ang hindi lang mataas ng super approval rating for a very long time, ay si Pangulong Arroyo. No? Siya lang. But most Filipino president had very high pro- approval rating, especially, which is my second point, etong uh, panahon ng honeymoon. Siyempre, wala pa. Four months, five months, six months pa lang. First six months pa lang na administration na ito. So generally, mataas kasi may idea ng bomb of unity. Let's rally around the flag. Let's let's support the new president. Ayan, unity, unity, yung mga ganun. So that's definitely a factor. But for me, it's very interesting. No? So from the 42% who didn't vote for Bongo Marcos and around 40% who didn't vote for Sara, out of the 15 million na bumoto kay Lenny, Ang nang may distrust lang ay 4%. So, again, uh, this is based on the numbers we see here. Of course, we can discuss about, uh, you know, alam nyo na, di ba? <laughs> Yung context and everything like that. So, this is a very interesting thing to keep in mind. Now, of course, this survey was conducted when? October 23 to 27. Eh, ano ngayon? December, di ba? So, may mga henyo dyan na sabi, Oh, ano sinasabi mong... Trust deficit, etc., etc. Eh, mataas naman yung approval rating. Ang akin naman, sabi ko, first of all, you know, you cannot cite a gross number, a total number, general approval, and say the following thing. So, ang unang claim nila is, oh, 31 million ang bumoto, so what? So, they can do whatever they want? Ganun ba yung point? Pangalawa, itong survey po ay nakonduct ng October, and it's a general approval trust rating survey. It's not a specific issue-based. Uh, survey. So, Pulse Asia po ay meron specific issue-based survey at doon nakita natin na mataas yung disapproval sa administration pagdating sa handling of the inflation. So much so that President Marcos himself, oh, you know, had to admit that inflation situation is out of control, no? So, ito, na natin. Of the surveys we're looking at are general surveys. They're not specific surveys, no? Uh, ano yung yari? Now, I'm just making sure na hindi tayo nag-disconnect, no? So, una-una, these are general approval ratings, and this is a honeymoon phase. So having a 780% is nothing special. Si Tatay Digo nga, umabot pa nga 90 plus percent, di ba? Doon sa nakita natin. Pangalawa, if you look at issue-specific surveys, for instance, doon sa Pulse Asia, lampas sa 40% po ay nag-disapprove doon sa management ng government dito sa issue ng inflation, for instance. Di ba? So, for me, you cannot just cite something from October and say that means everything is okay and people will have total unquestioning support for, for the president, whatever is the issue, right? I have analytic problems with that. I also have, and soon I'll also have raised normative and political issues with that. So for instance, you have a 42% disapproval of the government's management of inflation in, in the er- earlier report. No, So this is the September, October one. By Pulse Asia. So why are you not citing this? Diba? Bakit natin isight lang yung general but not specific? And why should the general be necessarily always the only one cited and ignored naman yung specific? Because the president himself recognizes the importance of the uh, disapproval of the inflation issue. Kaya nga si Pangalong Marcos constantly talks about the need to deal with inflation by dealing with the food security issue, by providing affordable rice na 20 pesos per kilo dapat. Eh, si Pangulong Marcos mismo nga na-recognize niya eh. So, hindi ko ano itong mga trolls at spin, hindi nga spin masters eh, spin trolls na yan. Pinipilit nila na just because approval mataas dito sa Okta, then ano na, ano na, dapat tayo, oh, yes lang tayo ng yes, toxic positivity, go lang tayo ng go. Eh, that's not how it works. Normatively, also, just because you have high approval rating doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. My, 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 my opinion, <laughs> ito, ito. Every policy should be assessed, every major policy should be assessed on a case-to-case basis. So just because you have a high approval ratings overall doesn't mean you should do whatever you want and we should say what, yes to whatever is being proposed. And yun, isa pang sinasabi ko sa mga trolls dyan, tsaka mga bloggers, spinners na yan. Oh, sige, pakita mo sa akin. Meron ba kayong survey na pinapakita na majority ay nagsusupport dun sa Maharlika, Sovereign Wealth Fund? Show me. Where is it? Because if you're citing in October, anong petya na, December na, eh, hindi naman tinanong yung Maharlika din, eh, ibang usapan yan. Then, irrelevant yung data na sinisite nyo. Diba? Irrelevant yung... And when I talk about distrust, it's also general distrust towards the problem of corruption sa ating mga state institutions. No? So, prove me otherwise. No? So, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, why not cite this 40% disapproval? Why just cite that? And by the way, both of them 
are not December, are not even November. And pagdating sa December, show me a number, a survey, credible survey, hindi yung mga questionable. Credible survey. So I'm citing here Pulse Asia, which is credible. I'm citing also Okta. Uh, cite me a credible survey that says that majority na ating mga kabayan ay komportable dito sa uh, Maharlika Sovereign Wealth Fund. And for me, even if majority say yes, which I kind of doubt if I think an authority survey is conducted against, you know, I mean, Honest, if people are really well informed about this situation, I'm not on a disinformation pro I'm not sure a majority will be very happy about, you know, the, the, the sovereign wealth fund, especially in timing and situation. But more than that, hindi naman pwede puro populist lang tayo sa mga policy making eh. Kaya nga may mga eksperto tayo dyan. Kaya nga mayroon tayong mga independent observers. Kaya nga mayroon tayong media. Hindi naman pwede lahat na lang idadaan sa tyranny of majority, right? Or mob rule, right? And in this case, mga ating mga kababayan, as I always say, we have to respect the democratic mandate of this president because he was elected by 31 million people. Respect, res- respect. So we didn't question. I didn't question the mandate. That's it. But accepting the mandate doesn't mean you ac- accept whatever they say. And general approval ratings in a honeymoon phase is not necessarily. Indeed, uh, because my carte, carte blanche ka or my blank check ka to do whatever you want. And even when there's popular support for a policy, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily a correct policy. That's why you need to have independent assessment, independent experts also looking to it, especially people who may be more familiar and people who really care for the country and know what's the issue at hand. Otherwise, wala, mob rule na tayo dito. Demagoguery na yan situation, which is exactly what Socrates, Plato, and everyone were warning against. One problem in democracy is that it could be misinterpreted as tyranny of majority. No? So, dito sa issue ng Maharlika Fund yan, nakikita natin guys, actually, hindi lang naman yung mga negar na opposition lang nang nagsasalita dyan. We see even independent journalists uh, and, and, and we see also very crucially business groups, mga top business groups are expressing uh, their discomfort dito sa uh, sov- Maharlika, hindi lang any sovereign, but Maharlika Sovereign Wealth Fund uh, proposal na yan. So, Check natin. So, Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry. No? So, we're talking about the biggest business groups in the country. No? Yung kanilang presidente, si George Barcelon, no? urged the government to take its time. Dapat may, 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 meron tayong pagsusuri. No? Meron tayong talagang proper assessment before we jump into a, a kind of a final policy on this. No? So, ayon sa kanya, whether there's a need for it and how much putting up such a fund will benefit us, that's a question that the government should analyze. So, ibig sabihin, Sa tingin nila, hindi ito well-analyzed pa, nir- parang nirarush or parang hindi, hindi siya well thought out fully. So if it's not going to give us that much advantage, might as well invest in our country. There are resources to be invested and there are other sectors that can be looked into. Kasi ba pag sinisahin mo sovereign wealth fund, mag-invest ka abroad para kumita pag, pag okay yung, yung investment. Pag palpak investment, well, ibang usapan niya. At marami investments na sovereign wealth fund ay pumalpak na big time, including mga major sovereign wealth funds led by some of our neighbors and some of the more developed countries. But of course, sila mayaman sila so they can absorb the shock eh. Eh sa atin, kukunin mo ba sa GSI sa sasad? Lagay mo, tapos paano kung pumalpak abroad? O ano mangyari? Be-bail out mo? Diba? So, ang sinasabi nila, eh bakit invest mo pa abroad? Pwede mo nang invest sa Pilipinas. Eh, Napaka-under-investment ng issues, uh, isang malaking issue sa atin. Under-investment, education, in health, in social services, in basic infrastructure. So, ayon kay Barcelona, yung, yung, yung tagapagsalita, or actually president ng Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry, I would think after this, this being vetted, so dapat may vetting process na proper, the government would take time. There's no rush to go into this. Whatever over a period of months or years, put it in the back burner and we see how things would play out. So very clear, no? Very clear. Kasi malaking pera ang pinag-usapan eh. 275 billion eh. Diba? 275 billion. So malaking bagay yan. So if you look at what's happening outside the uncertainty, even some of the funds of other nations before have been doing very well but lately have been suffering. Exactly yun yung point ko, diba? Sinisabi mga kameta. This is an era of polycrisis and hyper-uncertainty. Tapos, itapon mo sa stock market or mga questionable investments abroad. Diba? You see, I, I'm not against risk-taking. But I'm against dumb risk-taking. I'm against uh, risk-taking when the risk factor is too much. So, dapat mitigated yung risk-taking mo. Diba? Hindi naman pwede boom-boom ka lang dyan. Diba? Ayon sa kanya, there's really an uncertainty in the financial world outside because of the geopolitical issues. Yung Ukraine, Russia, Middle East, so, and recently the fiasco in the cryptocurrency. So actually, some sovereign wealth funds sa mga ating kapitbahay ay nag-invest dito, no? Nag-invest dito sa, sa mga cryptocurrency, FTX, whatever. Wala, it went south. 
So kawaw yung mga kababayan nila, but well, mayaman sila, so probably they can get away with it. No. Now, interestingly, si but si Felipe Medalia, no? Ah, uh, yung ating central banker at top economist sa ating bansa, even he was not giving a blanket so uh, you know, a, a kind of a, you know, clear categorical support at mga medyo skeptical sa point niya is hintayin pa natin, no? Labas natin 'yan. Kasi guys, ayoko yung ganun na yung ganyan style eh. 'Di ba? Ayoko yung ganyan style eh, na ay hindi popular sila, binoto sila. So ano, go lang tayo whatever they say. Eh hindi pwedeng ganyan, 'di ba? Hindi pwedeng ganun. So I really suggest guys, check this one. Ah, oh, ito, 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 ito. Ako, agree ko. Hindi maganda na nega-nega tayo parate. At hindi porkit hindi tayo mayaman, hindi big sabihin na wala, wala tayong karapatan mag magkaroon ng sovereign wealth fund. But what I'm saying is, timing is important, circumstances is important, at huwag natin i-rush yan. And make sure also you, you source the fund from the proper place. Don't worry guys, hopefully matapos na itong discussion ng Maharlika, Maharlika na yan, para we can move on to other issues, including yung latest news na for the first time since Second World War, my Japanese war air... air Fire jets ay pumunta sa Pilipinas So we need to have another separate Meta on that, okay? Ito, 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 ito O, oh, ito ah no, Ating central bank governor mismo Ay nagsabi na hindi siya super sure Kung ito ay tamang polisiya, di ba? So, I mean And in, by the way, independent siya Si Felipe Medalla ay isang independent technocrat Hindi siya cabinet member Kasi malamang, expect ka yung cabinet member mag sa president niya. In, 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 his job is rely on that guy. But, no offense to joke, no? I'm just saying in general. But if you look at Medalia, who's an independent technocrat, oh, he has expressed concern. Sabi niya, to me, the experience of 1MDB Malaysia, yung sovereign wealth fund ng Malaysia na sobrang nakurakot na billions of dollars, is the biggest risk, right? Even if the current guys are okay, will the guys five years from now still be okay? Kasi hindi naman admin lang, Marcos lang yan eh. Tatagal yan for a long time. It's a governance issue. The other one is the extent it could affect the independence of the central bank. Alright? My personal view is, ayon kay central bank, BSP governor, unless we're compelled, we should not. But I'm a law-abiding person. If the law says we will, we will. So, so point niya kung wala, na na-decide na wala siya masa. But as far as he's concerned, this is not the best thing forward. For instance, if they say we'll take the central bank dollars, then what will we use if the reserves are reduced because they've been taken to the sovereign wealth fund? Kasi di ba, meron reserves ang sovereign, ng, ng central bank natin. Yan ang gagamitin nila to defend the peso. Just in case, pumabaksak ang peso. Eh kung tatanggalin pa yan, saan, uh, saan na sila wukot niyan? Then we'll use... Then what will we use if the reserves are reduced because they've been taken to the sovereign wealth fund? Okay? We'll have less ammunition the next time there's an international volatil volatility that is related to the peso and the dollar. Okay? So, yan ang sinasabi natin sa mga trolls at saka yung mga spin masters at saka yung mga, mga partisan at saka yung mga... Ayan, ang yabang-yabang pa nung isang ano dyan. Ay nako, ay nako. Siyempre yung isa, din, uh, yung isang technocrat, I don't expect him to criticize the president. Eh, Siyempre, yun ang boss niya. But these ones, I trust, I have more confidence in these types because they're independent technocrats. Okay? And not to mention my integrity. My integrity itong si Medalia. High respect for you. Okay. Ay, by the way, they're, they're, tinag ko actually si Balisakan, Neta Secretary Balisakan on Twitter to get his point of view. So far, no response. No response. So, you never know, right? I mean, if talagang maganda to, di sana meron tayong categorical support from someone very respectable, someone na matalino at may integridad, katulad ni Balisakan, Secretary Balisakan. Okay? Anyways, marami tayong mga gagawin mga kameta, marami tayong mga alaga. Magtitank you muna ako sa inyo. Bukas, try ko kayong balikan dito sa issue ng for the first time Since World War II, may pinadala ng Japan na fighter jet sa Pilipinas. So, guys, mainit na, mainit na talagang. Wow. Things are moving fast, no? Yung Philippine-Japan. Japan-Japan, sagot sa kabulian ni... Alam nyo na. Japan-Japan. So, guys, we need to discuss that, by the way. So, i-separate meta natin yan. I just need to get back to you because... 
Oh, kasi syempre inaattack attack tayo online. I want to make sure na uh, you know, expose natin yung mga kaiwanan at kasungan ng mga vloggers na yan at yung mga iba diyan. Okay? Again, ha, let's be very very clear. Just because you have high approval rating and that was a survey two months ago doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. And just because something is popular doesn't mean it's correct. Kaya nga dapat may independent assessment experts and all. And now we see top economists, including our technocrats in the government, are being skeptical and questioning this. Okay, not to mention, Amy Marcos, Senator Amy Marcos, also expressed negative views towards this. So, yun lang. Anyway, pagbalikan natin tong issue ng Japanese fighter jets landing in the Philippines for the first time since World War II. Pag-usapan din natin yan because Philippines-Japan security alliance is moving very, very fast in light of the revitalization of U.S.-Philippine bilateral ties. And obviously, in one way or another, all has to do with China. Yun lang. So, balikan natin yan. Pag-usapan natin more yan. Maraming salamat mga kameta. Thank you very much and I really appreciate this. Wait lang, mag-thank you pa pala tayo sa mga... Uy, by the way, nakapasok ang Morocco quarterfinals. Ya yeah, Habibis, congratulations. Uh, Mubarak dun sa ating mga, mga friends natin, Habibis natin. Diba? This was a victory for Afro-Asia, solidarity for, for our Arab brothers and sisters. Hopefully in quarterfinals they'll do well. No, Let's, let's see. Let's hope for the best. All right? uh, ito ito magpasalamat tayo dito sa mga ano natin dyan. Salamat kay non- Tonet. Salamat kay Jocelyn Lumberio. Kay Mitch Tengcho. Alright. Uh, si Mitch sabi niya, dapat iscrap nila yung proposal ng Marley ka altogether. Well, ito kasing uh, issue ko eh. Ito ang issue ko. Attached kasi siya sa pangalan ni, ano na, medyo mahirap na if they, ano, it could, you know what I'm saying, right? Tignan yun si mga major sponsors niyan. Mm. Okay, thank you rin kay Des Candeza, Annabelle Gamoras, thank you for supporting us and following us. Kay Zo Goko, thank you so much. Yeah, and thank you also for joining us, Shannon Makalala. Thank you, Mike. Ayan, si Mom Josen as always, of course, very supportive. Kay Roche Alexander Mercado. Kay Natasha Tamin. Kay Kat Rodriguez. Yeah, ni mga supporters na atin ng mamal sa atin. But anyway, don't don't ano, don't worry, guys. Balikan natin isa pang major issue. I, I need to still write an article about this. So once major na consolidate ko yung ideas ko yung analysis ko, balikan ko kay Jan. And I'll forward also my article on this issue. No, so eto na big big na. Things are moving very fast with Japan. Again, of course, heartbreak yung talent in Japan. I, I believe they, 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 they could have won and perhaps they should have won. Uh, but I'm also glad that, and of course, heartbreak din yung sa South Korea. But guys, I'm a Brazil fan. I love the game. The Brazilians really something else. But Portugal even topped that with a 6-1 victory. And Morocco, Habibi, is doing very well. So looking forward to the next round. I'm excited that at least hindi lang puro mga Europeans at South Americans. We also have an... African Arab team there, Morocco, Marrakesh. So good luck and uh, balikan natin. We'll have more discussion also World Cup. Thank you very much mga kameta. God bless. Talk to you soon.